So yeah, hey everybody, this is Sonic Jones and Sonic, um, I want to give you a heads up on what's going on. I was, I was in the middle of the internet on YouTube browsing in the middle of my browsing and I had, I had 28 viruses. And I was like, oh no, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, what am I going to do. So, I thought, well. Um, it took, yes, it, it took a lot to do that. The story of Jonathan Ross is just as long as eventful as that of let's say Chris Chan and in many ways, he is essentially Chris Chan. They are both high-functioning autists and, very recently with Ross, have both been the subject of ridicule on the internet. Dude, you fucking... Dude, looking up kids in the bathtub isn't fucking pedophilia. The only reason why it's pedophilia if you jerk off to it. I didn't even jerk off to it at all. Like, that's what's fucking stupid about it. You literally said you have feelings for children and that you need help. Can you tell me about the little kids in the bathtub, Ross? That's all I want. Oh, Just, oh yeah. Curious. Who no, is this dude anyway? I'll explain. I'll explain. Here's something, right? I'm a Jesuit he's, priest. He's, Come he's, to spread the word of Jesus. Go ahead, Ross. Pretty much the reason why is because, you know, I, I looked it up and I thought they were cute videos. That's really it. I have personally known Ross for almost two years and he is an interesting figure to say the least. And since there is a light shining on him right now. I feel like a documentary so others can study this fantastic creature would be the best thing to do. Now, before we start off with his internet antics, we must start all the way back to the beginning of his life. Jonathan Elias Ross, or as he likes to call himself, Ross, was born in 1997. At a young age Ross's mother died and his father who has abused him in some sort of way, was sent to prison. Hey Ross, yeah, I know. are you gonna commit know, suicide by window? Oh, Emily. your mom and dad? Your mom and dad are like the best tag team ever. You got a dead mom and an abusive father. That's like... Uh, most and it's dad's still alive, too. Although the details here are not clear it is presumed that his father murdered his mother however please do not take that as fact as I do not know the full details myself. What I did know however is that after these two events, Ross was adopted by his grandmother and grandfather, not much is known about his grandfather, however Ross's grandmother is known to be overprotective. You're not going to control what I do. You can talk to them tomorrow? But tonight, you have to go to bed. You understand that? You have some rules. You have to take a shower before you go to bed. You don't even have sheets on your bed. No, they're only giving me one more chance tonight, and tomorrow, and tomorrow there's no going back after that. Well, then that's their problem. If they like you, they won't give you another chance, and that means tomorrow. If they don't like you, it doesn't matter, they're gonna trick you tonight or something. If you really want me gone, then I'll, then I'll might as well get out of the house and go to the streets. I'm asking you, do you want to continue living here? Because if you don't, I'll get your social worker and she can find a place to put you. You will not have a computer. If you do anything, I... If you do I'm anything... Asking, oh, 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 oh. Well, you're not gonna put me somewhere. Well, I'll turn you over to her and she can figure it out, okay? That's what the fuck? So. <laughs> we sure don't. That's the good part. That's the really yeah, good part. Yeah, so you don't get to send... So, if you don't have custody over, over me, then that means you don't get to send me to her because it's not your decision to make, it's mine. I get to decide who lives in this house. Yes. And, and I get to decide who takes what out of yeah, my house. Yeah, guess what? Here's some, if, if, you choose, if you choose that, then that means Stop. you can kick me Stop. out. Stop. Oh, liar, you're saying liar, that these liar. people are just idiots for talking to me, is that they what you're are, saying? They are idiots for talking to you. Oh wow, what was a great thing to say about my friends. 
They're not friends, Jonathan. They laugh at you. You're right. You're right now. Do, you're right now creating a riptide right now. All I wanted to do because I'm an adult. I'm going to go and take a shower, and afterwards I'm going to go and play a game with them. What is so harmless I about want you that? I'm going to bed by ten o'clock because trust me, you're getting up really early tomorrow. Oh, okay, mom. Yeah, thank you for telling me what to do. I'm not your mom. Well then, stop acting like it. Oh, grow up, Jonathan. Try really hard to act like an eighteen-year-old. Do you remember what you said? I said, fuck you. You do remember that? Yes. Do you understand that that's a bad thing to say? Do you understand? Oh, yeah, but that was not me, though, that did that. It was it was something that took over. What? You're, you're pushing it all on me, even though the family has been dysfunctional ever since. Every, every All the ten what years family? that this... This family... Jonathan, you've only lived here for four years. So you're saying I'm not part of the family? You're not part of a dysfunctional family anymore. This is a dysfunctional family. It is not. You are the dysfunctional. Get in there and take your shower. Take your shower. Clean up. You stink. Soap on your body. People can sit next to you. Smell like <gasps> Smell like a pig, holy shit. Jesus Christ. I'm not clean underwear. Put on some clean clothes once in a while. Jesus Christ. Ross didn't have very many childhood friends growing up. In fact, the only notable friend he had was a girl called Emily who he has had and most likely still has feelings for. We were just say, oh yeah, sure, like I would want to go out with you now, just say to Natalia, Natalia, uh, we need to talk about something, so yeah. So you would leave Natalia for Emily? Well, Natalia is the only option I have right now. So you have a question on Emily still? Ross, you don't know what, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Ross went to a special needs school which Ross has admitted he wanted to shoot up several times. It is also known that at several points, Ross has went to a type of summer school for the mentally challenged. This is all that is known about Ross pre-internet days and slightly early internet days. Ross claims to be a veteran of the internet, becoming a basement-dwelling troll from 2009 onwards. You know, I've been through this shit for goddamn years. I am pretty much a veteran on the internet. I've been on since 2009. I've been st I've delved deep into shit. And you know what? I've been through hell and back. Here with Song Chong Try trying to get used to a new name. Uh, uh SJS Gaming One. As as known as just call me SJS Gaming. Ross has had an obsession with being a YouTube star, or at least wanting to be one. Ross has tried over and over again to become YouTube famous. Even at 80 subscribers, Ross would think that he's a big YouTube star, even though we all know that those numbers are too small to even be rookie numbers. Even many of these small subscribers would be sock accounts. So this was my final update video on um, my, the new account, the lost account, and hopefully you see you at the video where, where basically it's uh, best of Sonic Johnson Sonic. I know that basically I'm uh, also my uh, my my um, videos are like ignored for some reason. I don't know why. Even Sonic Johnson Sonic Rocks ignores on my my new account. I I don't know why. They think I'm, they think probably I am a fake or something, or I wouldn't be making new videos if I were a fake, so, yeah, um, yeah, it's really me, so, um, yeah, I know we, I will, we will not have, um, uh, I will not have a lot of subscribers anymore, there won't be like a really huge community anymore about Sonic John Sonic. Instead of Sonic John Sonic, it's 
SJS Gaming 1 for now until I change the name of the account because you can't do that by the way it's new YouTube now everything possible new layout and shit um so yeah do I keep giving you a creepy look because obviously I do kind of after growing balls and actually talking to other fellow autists on the internet, Ross became involved in a YouTube debate with the SOK in which warlocks and so on were brought up by the madman himself. Alright, stop podcast it says, alright. Um, it's live right now. Alright, we're live. Um... This is, um, people from the SOK. This is Retrospective. What's up? I'm also known as Che. And, um, Moogle Master. Just as a spectator. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's only you and me and Che. Okay, whatever. All right. Um, anyways, this is a debate, um, with the SOK. Um, all right. So basically, I'm um, uh, first of all, basically, I'm uh, basically, I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a. Uh, there are three rants I posted last time. Basically. Mm hmm. Um, first of all, I'm, uh, if we're gonna get this debate started, um, what do you think about the first rant? Basically. Uh, what the first rant you did? Yeah. Uh, well, besides from you saying your opinion that you don't like our podcast, which is fine, that's your opinion, I just believe you are extremely misinformed. And the mo first of all, basically, um, uh, I have to say is that I'm, uh, I don't know, first of all, I'm, uh, how come, like, I'm, uh, I, yeah, sorry, I'm with autism. I don't know how to use words that well, so I'm a, I'm a, my, don't mind me if I am a ramble on about stuff. Yeah, basically, yeah, basically, but I mean, I'm going by what I heard, basically. Okay, as I, as I said before, it seems like you have such a big problem with Fred. Um, it just, what is it about Fred that you know? Just you can tell me right now. What is it about Fred that you have such a Big issues with anything. Just tell me anything. I want to know since we're talking. Um, that I'm a Fred. I'm a Fred Fox has a um, uh, like like Fred Fox. I'm um, uh, basically I'm um, uh, <sighs> oh. Is that what it is? It's what you're worth. Okay. I think we should be yeah, focusing sorry, on a conversation. Just, I'm just, I'm just receiving messages from somebody. I'm not going to say the name, but. Oh, okay. Anyways. Well, we're live. Um. All right. Sorry about that. Um. So the reason why I'm, uh, I think that is because, first of all, I don't know about you, but I think I'm, uh, it's just I'm, uh, Fred, I'm, uh, I mean, if he does all this stuff, um. What does like, what? Like you know, um, uh, organize the sons of Kojima, like um, uh, and basically I'm yeah. um, uh, and also not to mention, but also um, uh, I'm thinking that Fred also um, uh, like sometimes devises plans on, you know, you know, um, uh, I think um, uh, we had a conversation about KG basically, okay. and K and basically um, uh, I heard about you guys um, uh, in antagonizing um. Kegahalian, because Ow. I'm uh, well because he's a fan of DSP. Well, I mean, I mean, I well, antagonizing no uh, discussions about our opinions of DSP or whatever he wants to talk about. Um, I would actually call um, Kegahalian the antagonizer. I mean, he's the one that posted a picture up of him having a folder that is supposedly dedicated to us that is over 20 gigabytes long. I mean, First of all, I grew up with them, uh, up, uh, with them, uh, with them, uh, Catholics, and um, uh, they, um, uh, um, uh, 
and I grew up around a place where, like, um, uh, they believed in, like, you know, and there was a bunch of zealots, and also not to mention, but also, okay, he, like, they believed in warlocks and, um, uh, and, um, uh, you know, how to prevent darkness and evil and stuff like that, basically. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. Are you talking and, about World of Warcraft or something? No, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 no. Question, right quick, no. not to interrupt the debate. Um, Ross, well, like, you kind of are. I, look, this is one on one, so I don't appreciate two people jumping in. And I yeah. said the same thing to Moogle. Well, I just I wanted to ask a quick question, question, but sorry. I'm sorry, it's one on one. So, go ahead, Jonathan. The thing, the thing is, is that um, uh, what I mean by that is um, uh, and in my opinion, that was um, uh, what happened with Murr, That was a bit ignorant to say because I grew up um. Uh, with um, uh, zealot, was ignorant. Um, uh, I grew up um, uh, well, no, 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 what said, but whatever. It's it's oh, one on one, but anyways, okay. um, I grew up in um, uh, in like um, uh, um, uh, what was the place? Um, uh, Canada, um, uh, Ontario, where like um, uh, basically, people um, uh, you know, um, uh, ha were very religious, and um, uh. And um, uh, some people believed um, uh, that warlocks um, uh, existed, basically, or like magic existed, or paranormal humans existed, basically. And um, okay. uh, there was a bunch of zealotry. I mean, that was it, really. Well, look, 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 I get it. Okay, Fred, the smart guy, but um, I, I, I let's talk about stuff that we can prove, okay? Because you know that stuff, you know, religious stuff. I'm not getting into that. This is not a debate about religion or paranormal, supernatural, wizardry um, powers. Along with having aspirations to become a big YouTuber, Ross tried to enter the world of hip-hop and become the next Eminem. Obviously he doesn't have an inch of musical talent in him as you can tell from these small sound clips of his songs. Um, killing gingers, killing gingers. Every single time I go on the block end, I go and get my clock end. I shoot a ginger's head off with my clock end. The cops are coming after me and I run and I'll be able to go and kill some more gingers and as well as that I'm the best ginger killer in the in the hood. Alright, this is Jonathan Rock. And here's something. I have a new dance move called the Ginger Boy. All you have to do is go ahead and basically just go and snap a ginger's head from left to right. Ross here going ahead and gen going ahead and slapping a ginger's head back and forth, super soaking them and then afterwards finally then putting them in a concentration camp for killing and also not all of that, but also killing them, stomping their head off, and then afterwards going ahead and stomping on their skull repeatedly, killing gingers. Killing gingers. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh my. Hey, this is Jonathan Ross here, and basically I'm just gonna here tell you this is what it is. I don't even know why, but even then, still, why the hell am I even doing this? Oh yeah, maybe it's because obviously here I'm just here to spread a message here, just because I'm here to address everything. So what do I did? I did it to a fucking song instead of a fucking rant. Instead of a did instead of these idiots, these motherfuckers who sit on their closets all day. They don't even know how to fucking use the internet in any way. They don't even know how to fucking use the internet for one thing because obviously there's a Sons of Kojima and DSP. Even then, afterwards, there are two parties. Ross hasn't uploaded a new song in over two years, so presumably he gave up on becoming the next three pack. Eventually, a Skype community called the Saints discovered Ross. The three most notable people from this community that were friends with Ross at the time were Jetrax, Mixmaster Ketchup, and John. Ross considered Jetrax his best friend. Despite the continuous drama that Ross would start and get himself into, Ross would manage to worm his way back into Jetrax's life many times until recently. At several points in their friendship, 
Ross firmly believed that he would be living with Jetrex one day. All right, all right, Ross, I'll tell you this right now before you get uh, before your internet gets taken away for a year because I I told her about what. It. What I'm going to tell you, Ross, is <sighs> this entire time it's been a prank, bro. What? Oh no! <laughs> God damn it! What? But no, you need to stop being. But you need to stop being a piece of shit, Ross. Look at that fucking. Oh yeah, remember remember Ross? I. I, I... My jokes are short, right? Fuck no. You mean that? You mean that entire time it was just a fucking skit? Yeah, cause like like we said, nobody gave a fuck about what you did. Mixmaster Ketchup is another person whom Ross considered a friend. Since being friends with Jet Rex, Mixmaster Ketchup had to associate himself with Ross. At one point. After the first Ross final, Mixmaster Ketchup recorded a diss against the former rap artist. I'm a... I'm a basically... Pretty much, basically... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... Not only that, but also... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a basically... Pretty much not with that, but also... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'll fire your house and kill you, mate! I'm Ross. I don't give a shit. I'm stupid as shit, but I don't give a shit because I'm a hard ass motherfucker. Yeah, I don't give a shit if I'm get fucked up and lose my internet. Yeah, fuck it, mate. Hey, I'll call people faggots and piss gay people, but then say that I'm not homophobic. <laughs> Bass, Nick. I don't give a shit, cause I'm kitchen man and I'm boss. I don't care how much he says my shit's autistic, I don't give a fuck. Not as autistic as his bullshit, as death threatening, as his doxing, as his manipulating, as his dharma ass shit. I'm glad I'm done with this guy. He's so stupid and yet he thinks he's smart. He's a dumbass. I'm a basically not only that, but also I'm a, I'm a, I'm a basically I'm a, I'm a, I'm a basically A FUCK YOU! I'll leave the call in a mad rage, bro That's basically Ross right there I don't give a shit I don't give a shit, mate because I don't need to deal with this nigga anymore. Just that I'd give him a little unnoved. Ah, whatever I didn't fuck up there. Uh, yeah. And the guy also fucking tries to make shit fucking dramatic as shit. He'll be like, Are you on my friend? Are you on my friend? But no, I'm not your friend because you're an asshole. That's basically the meat of it. Ross doesn't know how to be a person. He doesn't know when to quit. Oh! No! Fuck him! He starts a fucking Twitter war. He doesn't try to improve himself. He's gonna lose his internet So I made this in a hurry So this nigga can see it and probably try to dox me Oh wait, what? John is a person whom Ross loathed Many of the Ross drama would revolve around John and at many points throughout the past couple of years Ross has considered John as his number one enemy Around the time, pretty much I first made friends with John and here's a funny story, is that when I first made friends with John, after that, me and him weren't friends anymore after a couple of months. Then, he hated me, so he decided to turn everybody against me. And you know what? John threatened to, threatened to tell Keemstar multiple times to report me, pretty much. 
And guess what? John claimed that he's the one that got me off the internet. No, it was Jet Rex. And you gotta know what's more funnier is, is, is that John tried to stop. The point is, is that John tried to stop me, but he ultimately failed at the very end. But hey, if it weren't for him, there would be no archives of me. But you can celebrate while you can. Let's just say that. Because the point of the story is, is John tried to stop me. And John tried to destroy my reputation on the internet. But he failed. And now he's at the bottom. Despite having a reasonable amount of Skype friends, Ross would always star drama. This would involve death threats and doxing. I will fucking kill that motherfucker. You wanna know why? Because I will- I'll find you. I'll come find you. And I'll fucking slit your goddamn throat. And Fred, if you're listening to this, I will pounce on your fucking skull over and fucking over again. No, Hurtbox, how about I slit your fucking throat? How about I murder you and your fucking family? I will fucking find you. I will fucking murder your entire fucking family right in front of you. I'll legit fucking find you. I will fucking kill you. I will find you and I will fucking kill you. And Fred, if you're fucking listening to this, you are- You better fucking grovel. Because you're gonna have nobody left. So you better fucking grovel when I fucking meet you. You fucking bastard. Otherwise, I'd fucking kill you. And by the way, uh, I know your YouTube channel now, so therefore... Alright, so right now... Right now I'm gonna find your IP through, uh, your YouTube channel, so I'm gonna do that. So, uh, I'll know exactly where you fucking live. I swear to god, I, w I would slice your fucking head off. If I ever fucking met you in real life, I would kill you. Oh no, please, come over to my fucking house. I swear to god, you will fucking die. Dude, I'm fucking done. I will fucking kill you. Hey, be glad I'm not in- I'm not- I'd be glad I'm not in your fucking neighborhood, you fucking faggot. I would legitimately stab you to fucking death. I'll fucking kill you. I will fucking kill you. I will fucking kill you. Justin Martin, how about you go fuck yourself? That's your real name, right? Your name's Justin Martin. If you want me to, I can team up with Nuclear again. I will fucking find you. Dude, I will legitimately fucking find you using your fucking info. Fuck, fuck the internet. God, fuck. You know, fuck the internet. I mean, you can all just go fucking kill yourselves. I will fucking find every single one of you and I will fucking slit your fucking throats. I will literally fucking kill you all. I will fucking find you. I will fucking kill you. And I will fucking find you. And John Hagee, if you fucking watch this, I will fucking kill you. 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 Fucking kill you, 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 nigger, 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 fucking kill you, fucking kill you, nigger, 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 nigger.
At one point, the Ross drama got so bad that the Skype community he came to love had a fairly large Skype argument that is known as the first Ross final. He just uses, he just, he just uses, he just uses us as fucking pawns to play with. Because, see, my theory, which I believe is true, is that since Ross is at school all day and he doesn't have any friends, he probably gets picked on, doesn't socialize with anybody. And he probably gets picked. He probably does get picked on a lot. So he comes home and takes all the stress out on everybody else on the internet because he can. He thinks he has the power to fuck with everybody else. And I take my friendships as you know real personal shit. Yeah. So, and he obviously doesn't. He obviously just uses this as some way to fucking get his anger out. But I'm not gonna be his fucking stress to me anymore. Someone else can fucking get beaten up and fucking, you know, fucking stressed out to oblivion by this guy. But it ain't gonna be me. you honestly think this is the end of me yeah we'll we'll fucking see about that it, it has never been the well, end at, le at least 10 years i won't have to deal with you so many fucking people have failed to fucking stop me and so will you ross we're not no 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 we're not trying to stop you ross we're just gonna fucking ignore you no 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 i'm gonna stop him because i can because i have i have directions to your house i'm only a two hour drive from you dude i can personally go down to that police station personally no one else here can they don't live close enough Every, you, you constantly say, everyone else tried and failed. Well, everybody else didn't live two hours from you, Ross. Did you think of that? Did you think how I'm closer to you? And I'm not like some autistic motherfucker. I actually know what I'm talking about and have all my evidence that I need to fucking get you turned in. And your address and all that. So tell the cops, this is the guy, Jonathan Ross. His address, here it is. This is what this guy's fucking doing. <laughs> He's fucking all my shit up. I personally drove two hours to this fucking small shithole town so that this kid will stop fucking doing it because he won't and he does it to all these people look here's the list here's all the shit here it is and then they'll go to Jonathan Ross's house and he'll get into big shit and he acts like he doesn't care oh he'll care when the big black guy starts fucking him in the asshole then he'll start caring he'll like he'll be getting fucked and realize oh maybe I shouldn't have like you know fucked with Jet Rex and everybody in that call you know maybe I shouldn't have done that too late now, and I'm not gonna have any function in my asshole anymore because this guy's gonna fuck it for ten years. That's my first combo in a long time. Did you always throw me, or you just fuck me? I swear to God, if I get panned again. <laughs> Ross, me, me, me removing you from the Saints was a ter was like a really bad decision I had to make, and I didn't want to do that, and I felt bad, but then you started talking shit even more. Well, we were going to have it to a vote. Well, no, so well, I, we, 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 we were going to have we were gonna have it. Well, yeah, but the thing is, is it was going to be unanimous. Yeah. So it didn't really matter, because I know all three of your answers, and my answer would have to be yes, kick him out of the group, logically. Maybe not emotional-wise. Maybe emotionally I didn't oh, want to kick him out. I'm gonna do the hand grab on you. Oh well, I guess I failed to fucking frame Kevin. Oh well. Yeah, see, exactly. There you go. Bam, admitted it. Yeah. Well, remember, John's recording this, so everybody's gonna know about it, so it's not like a secret. No, no, I have a question. You were trying. Well, why were you trying to frame me? For what? Well, it's probably because you're black and he's racist. That's what? <laughs> no, it's because fucking everybody says I'm worse than that other fucking person. Fucking Somebody has to fucking be worse me. than me. Oh, you see that? He wanted he wanted Kevin to be worse than you. He, That's the he thing. He wanted to take or Kevin, Kevin wanted, down. Yeah, he wanted Kevin to be below Raw, so he can so he can finally have someone underneath him. Well, it didn't work out, did it? Well, so well, Ross, I forgive Kevin for what he did. I don't forgive you for what you said. Oh, and I don't forgive you either, Ross. At least now when that's I talk like, to Logan, I don't have to fucking pretend to, like, talk about Ross now, which is going to be great. Ross, that's some Batman villain thing you just did. That is some legit Batman villain shit. I've only really so, talked to Ross because I, I fucking really like Logan. And I just thought it'd be weird if, I, like, we were just going behind his back. But now, oh boy, we don't have to do that. Nope. You, you know, Ross, I, I might not really like John in, like, a fucking 
preference way or fucking attitude or some shit, but, like, he hasn't done the things you've done. He's I don't go that least. far. It's not that serious. Yes. <laughs> don't you yes me? You're dead! I win this fucking 99% of the time. Well, guess what? At least, at least some fucking humans could be my play toys, at least. Ross, what you, you know what, motherfucker? What you, and that, Ross, gonna, Ross, you, you want... No, you shut up. Something? You shut up. You're my fucking play toy, motherfucker. And you better fucking believe it. You always were and you always have. And you, you always will say, be. I can tell you whatever you want. Because I guarantee you John, And you'll come run back to me. You'll come run back to me. I can... Oh, he will. I know, like, right now he'll hate you and call, tell you to fuck up, but if, a month from now, if you decide to talk to him again, he's going to do it. And be like, John, do I, should I suck the right nut or the left nut? <laughs> <laughs> but then, well, that's how we got in this situation. I used Ross time. to get the information that I wanted. It was so fucking easy. You might think that's fucked up, but I don't care. But it's true. So fuck you, Ross. You try to manipulate, like, the wrong people. And you suck, Kevin. You rage-quitted. I didn't rage-quit. Yeah, you did. Hold on. How, how does it you have? Ross, how does it feel to constantly lose at everything you try to do? I still even play yeah, Street Fighter. Well, you're following this event, Jetrex called Ross's grandfather who following their conversation smashed Ross's computer with a sledgehammer. Due to this event, Ross was gone from the internet for a little bit over two months. He eventually returned and as per usual, wormed his way back into the Saints. Things seemed fine for a while and hell, Ross even got a blowjob from his girlfriend Natalia at the time despite the fact he still had feelings for Emily. Ross, so tell me what happened with the blowjob. Last night. Oh yeah, the, I, I had like a uh, fucking... What happened is like... Uh, pretty much I had a pool party last night, and pretty much, like, I got a blowjob from Natalia. How long did you last? Hmm? How long did you last, like, until you came? It, like, lasted, it, like, lasted till a minute. <laughs> hmm? Tell me the events that led up to it. Pretty much what happened was, I told, is that pretty much me and, the, me and Natalia, I told them, hey, you know, me and Natalia are going to get changed, and, uh, and then afterwards they're telling me, wait, you mean you two are going to get changed together? Uh, and I said, no, no, I'm, I'm just going to wait for Natalia and then she'll wait for me. And then what happened is like, uh, I went to the rest, we went to the uh, restroom and then afterwards like, uh, we just went in the same time. All right, nobody's looking, right? And then like afterwards like, I'm, and then I'm like, yeah, nobody, nobody's looking. And then, uh. Make sure, make sure to make, make this quick. And then afterwards like, she just, we, she just like gave me a fucking blowjob. Wow. You said you said that there. He told me there was like saliva all over the floor and shit. Yeah, she has a tendency to have saliva. Uh, how old is she? She's like the same age as me. Oh, so eight. So eight. Okay, that's so, so yeah. So they had con did, they had they had they had consensual sex. Good. Did, did, sexual. You do, did you do anything to her? Pretty much what happened is like I just took took off my. Sh my swim trunks, and then she she came down on the floor, and she uh, fucking sucked my dick. Yeah, she didn't do anything for it, dude. She, dude, she, she Ross, you're, you're so selfish. You're supposed to return the favor. Fuck no, man. If a girl just gives you a blowjob, that's how it rolls. She'll return the favor. Hmm. Why oh, do you think you're gonna go all the way? Wait, what did you say? When do you think you're going to go all the way, like actually get your penis in her vagina? I, I don't know really. Oh god, I don't even know. You taking things slow? Hmm? You gonna take things slow? Pretty much, slow, yeah. Slow, even though like they've been out for just a week and she's already given them head. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it felt it felt like it felt like the saliva was like fucking it was not that bad. What did she say after? Mm hmm. What did Natalia say after? She said she said that pretty much she pretty much said, oh yeah that was so good. Okay, that's good. Cool. <laughs> I need I need to get a girlfriend with a mental disability then I guess. 
did, did she spit or swallow? Hmm? Did she spit or swallow? She spat. Why did she spit? She spat, she, she kind of like, she kind of, she kind of like spat some of the saliva off. Oh, okay. No, like when you, did you come in her mouth, Ross? That's, that's what he's trying to ask. Yeah, it was, it was in the mouth and then afterwards like what happened is like fucking two sperms escaped from my fucking, um, from my penis. <laughs> And then what happened is like then then like after they dropped on the floor, they like then like afterwards like a fucking it's like a fucking cannon and just like fucking like I just like came all over the floor and she dodged it. Yeah, you do because you know if Natalia and Emily at the same time were like, hey, we both suck your suck your dicks at the same time, Ross would be like, fuck yeah. Oh like, my well then, my well then again I would yeah. Then again I would because like they'll be like saying. Oh yeah, we want to do it, and, and I'll be like, oh, "Are you sure about this? Are Are you really Yo, fucking Ross, sure about oh this?" God. Ross, don't ever, don't ever ask that question. Ross, what are you fucking Ross, I have a question. Okay. Did Did, did what? Didn't Tali kiss you after? <laughs> no, she just like sucked my dick. <laughs> I just love how he says it. It's just too often. No, he just sucked my dick. It's like, oh god. What did you say about your have dick? You, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ross, hold on. Ross, have you kissed her yet? No, I haven't kissed her on the lips yet. <laughs> what? She hasn't kissed you? haven't kissed her yet, but she's, you've already gotten the blowjob. That's kind of... Uh, wow. That's kind of... Well, that's, that's crazy. That usually doesn't happen. Because, like, her saliva... Her saliva has, like, so much... She has, like, so much saliva. Ross is like, crazy, he's just, gonna, like, he's just gonna like drip like a pool of saliva into his mouth when he kisses her. Yeah. Man, I, need, I guess I need to find a hard girlfriend. <laughs> Cause I've never had a girlfriend that, that like sucked my dick and said, and afterwards said that it was good. So, all of them were like, oh god, are you done yet? Did, did, did she say your dick was big, Ross, or is it just tiny? Wait, what? <laughs> I guess it. I guess it's. Uh, I guess it's. Uh, here, wait. Hold on. Let me see it. Hold on. You're gonna look at your own dick to have to think about that right now. Hold on. Hang on. I gotta look at my dick. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I think it was. Uh, fucking. Let me. Let me stretch it. Hold on. Oh my God, Ross. Just fucking. We said. We, he asked if she thought that it was big, not if you think that it was big. Wait, what did you say? He wants to know if she thought if Natalia thought it was big or not. That's what he asked, and we didn't ask answer the question. Wait, wait, wait. What did you say? Hold on, hold oh on. Oh my God, Ross. He said he wants to know if Emily thought your dick was big or not. Emily, Natalia. That's all he wants to know. <laughs> Natalia must think. I don't know what she thought about my dick before then. Well, not before then. After, like, what she think? Oh yeah. She, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, uh, it was small. <laughs> so, so let me get this right. We were just saying, oh yeah, sure, like I would want to go on a, out with you and I'll just say to Natalia, Natalia, uh, we need to talk about something, so yeah. So you would leave Natalia for Emily? Well, Natalia is the only option I have right now. So you have a function but, Emily still. Ross, you don't know what- oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it was during his time in the summer of 2016 in which he confided in his friends about his pedophile needs where he claimed that he watches kids in bathtubs. This wouldn't have been brought up again until summer 2017. More drama came, Jonathan Ross created the Sinners podcast. Jonathan Ross then returned back to the Saints and even gave them a private gig as a one-off after retiring from the rap game two years prior. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. You can't even fucking do shit. You know that it's fucking shit. Seriously. Why do you criticize Phil when you're ju just like him? You fucking honest. Seriously, Jesus fucking Christ. You're a fucking bunch of fucking hypocrites, you fucking autistic fuck. Seriously, what the fuck? Your mom needs to fucking change your fucking diaper. Jeez. Seriously, the biggest joke I ever fucking seen online. You're a fucking faggot.
and that's for sure. Also, by the way, my dick is not even fucking one inch. It, it's in, it's two inches. Not nah, JK, we're cool. By the way, also, <laughs> by the way, fucking, it's okay. You're a bunch of fucking faggots. And also, King of Pulse, seriously, you need to fucking be a fucking teenager. You look like a fucking teenager. Really, you're an adult. Really? You call you call yourself an adult, yet you fucking say, hey, hey, yeah, where am I going to go and lift those weights? You fucking bitch, you can't even lift fucking shit. Because you <laughs> Because guess what, you're a bunch of faggots. I bet your fucking dick is only fucking zero inches tall. Seriously, your mom is proud of you? Wow. Really, your mom's proud of you existing. I I'm shocked. Oh, wait, no, not really, because it's not true at all. You fucking faggot, bigot-ass motherfucker. Also, by the way, what's that death threat you sent to Viter? Oh, yeah. Remember when Viter was the bad guy? Oh, yeah, remember. Well, except that was a lie you made up because you're such a fucking flamboy faggot. Seriously, Jesus Christ, you're a fucking faggot pole. Seriously, what? Go kill yourself. Also, by the way, fuck you. You're a fucking faggot ass motherfucker. And John Hagee, you think you exposed me as a fucking pedophile, but the thing is, you ain't shit. All you're just a fucking faggot, just like all the other toxic internet groups, you motherfucker. I'm here to expose here uh, and been saying the truth since day one since I joined. So what the fuck do you have to lose? Oh wait, everything, including your credibility, you fucking dumb fucks. Fucking autistic motherfucker. Can't even fucking do shit. Seriously, I expose the autism with my own fucking autism, so fucking what? Fuck yourself, motherfucker, seriously. I mean, seriously, dude, I, I'm just fucking, I'm just so good at what I do. Anyways, fucking sh shithead, you can't even fucking do shit. Oh, by the way, what's that fucking faggot? Oh yeah, it's Virgil, because he's a fucking, he's a fucking kike. Fucking going ahead and fucking being a nigger as usual. Oh wait, you pretend to be one, but except you're white. And plus you fucking, I bet your mom's disappointed in you and shit like that. Seriously, I bet your mom wish she fucking pulled out. Oh yeah, because fucking here's something, right? Is, is there's a reason why abortion is legal because of fucking faggots like you. Also, by the way, they're also fucking being in segregation on the fucking internet, you fucking faggot ass motherfucker. But you know, lick your fucking mom's vagina, you fucking bitch. I fucking, exposed, fucking couch nigger fucking faggot. I exposed everybody. I, expo I exposed Tony Pepperoni from the fucking pizza store. Seriously, you're a fucking joke. <laughs> you can't even fucking do this. Oh, yeah, by the way, you're gonna, Virgil, you're gonna hide in your Twitter family? Seriously, get the fuck out of here with that, you fucking flamboyant faggot. You can't even do shit. Heh <laughs> yeah, I got my Twitter family. Heh <laughs> Well, guess what? Go fuck yourself. Seriously, fucking hell. Seriously, God. Why am I even fucking still on this earth? Oh, wait, to expose faggots like you, even if I have to go through it myself. Fuck you. All seemed fine until... During the summer of 2017, Ross once again got involved in more drama with the Saints. Despite being a common event among Ross, this seems to be the final straw for the Saints. What was the straw that broke the camel's back you ask? According to Mixmaster Ketchup, he gave Boone's Discord server powers over to Nuclear Gamer and Nuclear removed everyone from their Discord server. Ross, in a fit of rage and depression, done many live streams. The only thing Ross seemed to do during this period was live streams. Next to no one watched these streams, apart from when his ex-friends would troll these streams. These people would reveal to the people that Ross were streaming is what kind of person he was. A backstabber, psychopathic and a pedophile. At one point, Mixmaster Ketchup managed to get onto one of these streams and yet again brought up the kids in bathtubs incident. Yeah, but you could say I'm a pedophile all you want, but I'm not a pedophile. Have, have you Dude. talked to Rex lately? Yeah, I have. But how the fuck is looking that shit up not messed up? Dude, you fucking... Dude, looking up kids in the bathtub isn't fucking pedophilia. The only reason why it's pedophilia is if you jerk off to it. I didn't even jerk off to it at all. 
Like, that's what's fucking stupid about it. You literally said you have feelings for children and that you need help. Unfortunately for Ross, that's when he was discovered by YouTube star Mr. Me Talker. Mr. Me Talker went on to talk with Ross and made a YouTube video that has as of me making this documentary, went on to get just under 200,000 views. Be careful what you wish for as Ross has always wanted to be an internet celebrity. This incident led to, what many people believe to be, a hoax suicide attempt. I never said this was intended to be a suicide stream anyways. I didn't officially call it that. It, it was fake even despite me actually drinking for, uh, this was actually fucking, uh, me just drinking for breeze. <sighs> <laughs> I, I don't know I give anyone I give anything to have someone what I'm talking to or something If I really act, hey, guess what? At least I was able to drink. F At least I was able to drink for breeze. All right, unlike you fucking faggots. There are rumors that tests were run on Ross in a hospital, and there was no evidence of him drinking the kitchen cleaner, which even if he did drink, wouldn't have killed him. And this is where we are—the end of perhaps a beginning in the life of Jonathan Ross. This video was made not to mock Ross nor to sympathize with him but to give people an understanding of who he is and what one mistake on the internet can do to you. Hopefully this video will teach others to not follow the same path that Ross has and hopefully Ross will become a better person. Want to make any more death threats before you get kicked out? No, just go ahead and kick him out, please. Alright. FUCK YOU! Yeah! I just trust John more than oh, anybody I, else. I trust John more than I trust anyone else because uh, I don't know. I mean, I hate John, but I, I trust him more than anyone you, else. You <laughs> fucking what, mate? <laughs> I think the bottom line is is that it probably triggered PTSD and all. I think. Oh my God, Ross! Oh. That's all. Fucking bears! Fucking kill you! Fucking kill you! Nigger, 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 nigger! <gasps> I used Ross to get the information that I wanted. It was so fucking easy. You might think that's fucked up, but I don't care. But it's true. So fuck you, Ross. Yeah, I'm well, Street Fighter. Well, I just want this to fucking end. I just want this to end. I, I surrendered. I pulled the white fucking flag up. If people say that they know my history. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking wrong. The point is, is that John tried to stop me, and John tried to destroy my reputation on the internet. But he failed, and now he's at the bottom. Oh sweet, I can call people now Google Hangouts. No! Removed me again, and I'm like, what in the absolute fuck, or why the fuck did he remove me? Uh, Avalanche, I have your IP. 
I have where you live. I have all your information. Just want to let you know that. And until you pretty much tell me why the fuck did you remove me, I am going to... I'm still thinking about what I'm going to be doing with your IP address and where you live, your latitude, every single thing. And even the street you live in, I have that information as well. I'm... Dude, I'm only here to speak the fucking truth. But the thing is, is that they're going they're going on to me for fucking looking up fucking kids in a bathtub. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Hey, Ross, yeah, I know. Are you gonna commit suicide There's... by window? Oh, Emily. Your mom and dad, your mom and dad are like the best tag team ever. You got a dead mom and a abusive father. That's like oh, the most. And his dad's still alive too. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, he read, he read. <laughs> So, you forgot. That video's gonna be fucking flagged no matter fucking what! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, motherfucker! Fuck you! Ross, put me freaking out. <sighs> this guy. He's no. He's so primitive.